Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us see how to use workday function to form series of dates for Gantt chart in Excel. Now in this example, let us see how to generate Gantt chart and the usage of workday function in Excel. For a sample project, if I have activities like this with their specific start and finish dates, we would be requiring to put dates in the columns from H onwards to plot the bars and Gantt charts. So this would be our timeline. Normally, every one of us would put dates by just entering a simple formula in cell I6 as equals to H6 plus 1 and then drag the formula till the last column to apply the same formula. So this is the easiest way to put the timeline. Now let us apply conditional formatting here to show bars. I select all the relevant cells and click on conditional formatting. Click on new rule and then select the last option use a formula to determine which cells to format and then type the formula in the space as equals to and open the bracket h6 greater than equal to e7 comma h6 less than or equal to f7 close the bracket now remove dollar on the left side for the h cells h6 cell and remove dollar on the right side for the E and F columns. So you need to adjust this locking with dollar symbol like this. And then click on format and select a fill color like a blue color here. Now click OK and again OK to confirm. Now you will see the Gantt charts based on our start and finish dates like this. Now let us focus on the timeline again. If you want to show only working days, that is Monday to Friday, rather than showing all days and also excluding your specific project's holidays, then you would be using the function workday. Now type the formula in cell I6 as equal to workday, open the bracket, H6, that is our first date, comma, 1, comma, now we need to select the holidays. Now go to the second sheet where I have listed all the holidays. Now you can select the range of this holiday dates. Okay. And now close the bracket and then enter. And now drag this cell till the last column and then keenly observe that all Saturdays and Sundays are excluded in the timeline along with the holidays that we have listed. Like you can observe 25th February, which is a holiday. You can see that there is no 25th February in the timeline. Got it friends. So this is all about how to use workday function to form series of dates for Gantt chart in Excel. You can use this workday function in many ways in your Excel sheet. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.